But what if we get an avalanche in a populated area where their people are located? Well, they've got tools. One of those tools are avalanche rescue dogs. Check this out. I'm here with Chase, Ski Patrol. Appreciate you joining us this morning. We're talking about avalanches. You guys, you mitigate it, but sometimes they happen anyway. Yeah, it's, it's uh, true. I mean, we do a really good job here of mitigating the avalanche hazard before guests ever come out and ski at the mm -hmm. resort. Um, but we do have a number of tools in place if that very rare occurrence does come to be. Right, and one of those tools you have is a dog. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a really strong avalanche search dog team here. Um, and they're just one of our other operational tools um, for really kind of confirming our suspicions that no one's involved in the avalanche. Right, so that's the first thing you do, is make sure there's no one involved. Yeah, exactly. So we start with uh, avalanche transceivers. We'll search the avalanche with that. Um, Reco um, devices um, that a lot of people have in their, their clothing. Right. Um, their little reflector tabs. Mm -hmm. um, and then dogs are really the, the kind of, I don't want to say final tool, but a really great tool for detecting someone who is not wearing any of those devices right. if they were there. But more often than not, we're using that dog to confirm that there's no one there. And usually you're talking back. Yeah, so a lot of our dog teams also work with the local sheriff's office. Um, and so realistically, in a dog's working life, they may not work in the resort at all, wow. which is a great thing. But um, being called out to the back is perhaps more of a reality for them, actually. How many dogs do you guys have? We've got six right now, anywhere from puppy uh, up through uh, about a 10-year-old dog. Is there a specific breed you guys use? Um, not really. Uh, we tend to focus on Labradors and Golden Retrievers. They just are really kind of Fitable and they like to work with people, mm -hmm. um, but all sorts of other working line dogs uh, can work out, whether it's a shepherd or a Belgian Malinois, those sort of things. Yeah, so I've got a boxer at home. <clears throat> <laughs> could you use a boxer? Either? You know, I'm sure that there are boxers out there with the right kind of drive and disposition for the work, right. um, but does your dog get chilly? Uh, yeah, the little bristles, <laughs> yeah, forget about it. Yeah, so it have to be suitable for work in yeah, the winter gotcha. environment. Yeah, because my dog, when they take her out to go to the bathroom when it's snowing out, literally gives me the finger. Right. And clearly that the dog, uh, all dogs can do it. It's just who's suitable for outside. Well, suitable for outside and has the right drives and, and motivations to work. Um, you know, working in deep snow, heavy winds, yeah. right? It, it, takes a, it takes some some gusto. Yeah. How do you train these dogs? Um, so we start with a, a process that essentially begins with um, a game of hide and seek okay. with the handler, right? So the handler will go uh, hide in a snow cave, perhaps. Another uh, handler will release the dog. The dog realizes it can go in and access its reward with the handler. Uh -huh. And we progress that to then a stranger running and hiding that also has the reward for the dog. So the dog learns to go out and search out any human scent under the snow. Mm -hmm. And then here in our program, we kind of based off the Canadian model, and we actually uh, use articles of clothing, like scented wool sweaters, right. that we'll bury in the snow, which we'll see a little bit later with thunder, uh -huh. um, to simulate a deeper burial, and it allows us to, to replicate things that aren't practical with humans. Like, you wouldn't want to go in a snow cave for 24 hours and then have a dog come find. Right, how long does it take for a dog to get that ready? We, we aim for two seasons on snow. Um, so not necessarily two years of age, but close to it, um, give them a couple seasons to really get up to speed and make that whole progression. 